Thanks for tuning in to Merrimack TV's live coverage of the NHI AA S Division II. Division II. Semifinals, Merrimack versus St. Thomas. Saints. Saints. The Tomahawks versus the Saints. I'm Nick Lavalley, the Town of Merrimack's Media Services Coordinator. With me today, volunteering, is the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mr. Andy Berkeley. Starting lineups for the Tomahawks, we've got on defense, Kyle Dunn. Accompanied by Patrick Caffrey. We've got starting forwards, Owen Miner, Elliot Medlock, and Connor Dunn. Starting in goals, Matt Licata. Tomahawks wearing their road uniforms as they're the away team as the lower seed in the bracket. And then St. Thomas, the Aquinas, the Saints. Starting on defense, number eight, Aiden Gordon. He'll be partnered up with number 21, Gavin Bolin. Forward's going to be number two, Calvin Dornan, accompanied by number 13, Brendan Chrism, and Colin Chrism. And in goal will be number 31, Nate Lavoy. So those are your starting lineups. We'll be back with our live broadcast here at the Everett Arena in Concord right after the playing of our national anthem. Right, Andy, I am really excited to be here. We're pulling this off. This is our first live hockey broadcast on Merrimack TV ever. 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 First live for one for me and for you. This is this is pretty cool. I think we were just waiting to be in the semifinals. Well, That's what we were doing. I, I, you know, for the amount of TV that you and I have done over the, the past three years, Nick, I mean, to, to actually do a live game and use some of the, the tech that you guys have introduced during football games yeah, is right? fantastic. So, so talking about tech, you know, we have the Sleshammer and Colin back at Town Hall. Gotta love They're those boys. They're doing instant replays tonight. So Merrimack scores a goal. You're, you're hopefully going to see an instant replay. Also, this is the first time I get to do this during a hockey game. If you'd like to get a shout-out, we'd love to give you a shout-out. So hit up Merrimack TV on social media. You can find us on Twitter at Merrimack TV. You can go to our Facebook page and search for Merrimack TV on Facebook. Comment on our most recent post. Let us know where, who you are, where you're watching from, and who you're cheering for. And we'll give you a shout out. We also welcome Saints fans as well. We are psyched that Saints fans are, are watching our coverage as well Absolutely. today. So Absolutely. Thanks for joining us, whether you're in Dover or Merrimack and beyond. Because we beyond. are, you can watch this game from anywhere right from now. Anywhere. So this afternoon's contest is features, features the number one seed against the number four seed. St. Thomas got a bye in the quarters and uh, Merrimack beat Gosstown 3-0 uh, last Sunday on a game that was postponed, was supposed to be played 
earlier in the week and well of course we had that snow if you're local. The winner of this game will play the winner of Dover Oyster River. That game will be played at the SNHU Arena. Uh, time to be determined I believe on March 11th. So it'll be an interesting game. Both these teams coming in uh, with good offenses, good defenses, great goaltending. We got some last minute uh, arrangements. Checks by the referee. Slash linesman. So it looks like we're going to have Dunn and Chrism squaring off. Center ice, puck drop, game on. Tomas win the draw, looking to control. Saints get the puck in. Prism dumped in the corner. Caffrey pinned it against the boards. Dunn going back around. Met by the other Prism. Oh, that quick attempt. I missed that, unfortunately. Tomox looking to clear. Saints keep the puck in. And looks like we've got a hand pass on the Saints. Looked like Gorman cupped that puck in and kicked off one of his teammates. Dunn wins the draw. Medlock dumps, and that's going to be called for icing. Fortunately, Medlock was a couple strides behind the red line. That was kind of like a no-brainer. You knew that that was going to be an icing right away, so Tom Mox will be hemmed in to the left of Lakata. Chrism and Dunn at it for their third face-off in a number of minutes. Dunn wins a draw, goes back to the point to Gorman. Tomox looking to clear, get the puck out in neutral zone, Medlock. Now he dumps in. Tomox give chase. Dunn, minor. Dunn met in the corner. It looks like Chrism's in the corner. Miner's in there. Can't really tell from the where I'm at. And the Saints press out. Chrism dumps it in around. Caffrey goes in. Met by Dorman. Chrism. Oh, gets dumped by Caffrey. Caffrey dumps around to Dunn. Tomox looking to clear. Dunn. Up to Dunn. Tomox looking at a line change. Belmore able to keep the puck in the same zone. Presses. Farrell looking to give chase. Khan. Saints able to get the puck out. Belmore giving Dornan a rash of stick. Beaulieu in the corner. Over to DeBow Court. Farrell trying to get the puck up the, and Khan does. Over the blue line, one on three, and he rips that down. Behind Lavoy. Belmore in the corner, first to the puck, but nope, Saints look to recover. Get the puck out of the zone. Beaulieu dumped, dumps it back in. Pick it. Centering pass. Estes. Oh, broken up. Met by some nice defense work there. Khan looking to try to get the puck out. Not able to do so. One of the... Tomox lost his tick. And the puck goes through the neutral zone into the woods up the corner. Teams playing tic-tac-toe through the neutral zone. Daniker trying to get the puck out. Not able to do so. Saints do clear the puck. Intercepted by Sadowski over the blue line. Tries a centering pass. That's blocked off by Daniker. Saints look to charge. Chrism with some speed. Bet by Caffrey. Woods dumps the puck around. Gray behind his goal. Up and out. Caffrey misplays the puck.
takes down Prism. Fans, Saints fans are not happy, but nothing happens. Tomox. Oh. Giles lost a puck. Now Medlock rips it from the blue line. Tom Ox looked to change. Saints looking to clear. Nice pass out. And Resch just dumped the puck in. Tom Ox looking at the puck out of their zone. They do. Saints get some fresh legs on. Oh, pass intercepted. Medlock gets dumped. And they go at it. Saints look to clear. Trahan into the corner against Dunn. Centering pass by Dornan. Doesn't connect. And now Miner gets around the defenseman. Centering pass. Oh, Medlock misses the one timer. Saints looking to counter. Nice move by Estes. Looking to get a backhand through. And that puck ends up close to the blue paint. And Lakata able to get the glove on that. Wow, probably the best scoring chance we've seen of the first period was that one. What a nice setup. Don to Medlock. And Medlock just, I don't know if he got met by a defender and a stick. I'd love to see that replay. But wow, that was an opportunity. Tom Ox looking to clear the puck. And they're not able to do so. Saints looking to press with one to oh that centering pass out to the point shot save Lakata nice save Daniker had a great shot open look clean lane but oh, Lakata saw there's that there's the replay Lakata saw that one all the way I was wanting to see the replay from that one timer of, of Medlock back then but we'll get to that one later maybe yeah. this is another college. shot from the point. This is Collins' first time doing replay on hockey. Absolutely. Chrism so. there with that shot. Tom Hawks <laughs> looking to get the puck out. The bow court. Khan. Not able to get the puck out of the zone. Now they look to. Khan. Gets around Chrism. Khan. Met by Daniker and get the, gets the puck into the Saints zone. Saints looking to clear. We got some blue bodies. <laughs> colliding with some white jerseys. Beaulieu back. By the hash. Over to DeBoe Court. Farrell takes a dump. Belmore pressing. Saints looking to clear the puck, and they do. To the neutral zone. Khan turns and dumps. Puck back in. Pick it. Up to Estes. Tom Ox looking to get the puck out, and they do. Giles in. Chasing down Gray. Gray spins it around. Saints not able to clear. Giles dumps it back in. Trahan looking to get, oh, he's met by Caffrey. Oh, well, that was Pickett, excuse me. Trahan with some nice work. Oh, Caffrey just lays him out. Looked, the hit looked worse than it was. Trahan was actually sliding down. He was healed up on his skates, but Caffrey didn't. Trahan in the corner loses the puck. Able to retrieve it. Passes back to Bullen. Bullen shot. Save. Oh, and Caffrey again with Trahan. Puck goes back to the point. Rister blocked by Giles. Tom Ox looking to clear Woods. Giles backhands in. Giles met by Bullen. Tomox gets some bodies on the ice. Bullen turns up the boards. To Gray. Gray over the line. To Bolcourt. Chased by Chrism. To Bolcourt. Up to Dunn. Dunn turning the Jets on. Dunn and Gorman going at it. Dunn. Oh, centering pass. Just missed. And the Saints looking to attack. Oh, that's a nice move by Chrism around to Bolkart. Chrism shot. Save Lakata. Oh, nice. boy. Chrism nice. just blew by the Bolkart. On the replay. Look at that. And tried to shove that short on the glove side 
underneath Lakata's glove and Matt coming up with a big save. Saints win the draw, back to the point. Rister, oh, kicked away. Nice stick save by Lakata coming through some traffic. Dunn behind his goal. Dunn to Caffrey. Caffrey up the boards, gets a puck out. Met by Gorman. Oh, and then Miner. Oh, Miner looking at Dunn. Medlock, shot, save. Pad save, Lavoie. Miner gets a rebound in the corner. Kind of gets rubbed out. I don't know if that was Gray or if that was Gorman. I think it was Gorman. Saints looking to attack. Chrism trying to weave his way through backhander. Save, pad save. Lakata Chrism still with the puck. Tomox looking to clear. Able to do so. We got a deflection, so Tomox not called for the icing. Saints looking to clear the puck out of the zone, and they do. Oh, nice job by Belmore. Long shot in by Edgerly. Sticked away. Tomox clear through the neutral zone. Daniker back, retrieving. Passes over to his defense partner. Saints with some nice passing through the neutral zone. Farrell, and he gets rubbed out by Estes. Resch, oh, nice stop. Farrell shot, oh, shot went wide. The Beaucourt, Kahn able to stick it around. Belmore looking to center, does back to the Beaucourt. That goes off someone's leg. He scores! Belmore somehow on a dribbler redirected that pass to Lavoy and the Tomahawk score. Oh my goodness. The ball court threw the puck at the net and it deflected off the, def the, def the one of the Saints. And Belmore able to jump on that slow roller dribbler and redirect that. Tomahawks up 1 0. Thanks for watching Merrimack TV's coverage of this playoff game, Tomahawks versus the Saints. If you want to get a shout out, we'd love to give you a shout out. Hit us up on Twitter at Merrimack TV or find our Facebook page, respond to our most recent tweet or comment on our most recent Facebook post, we'll give you a shout out. We want to know who you're cheering for, where you're watching from. I'm sure we got Tomahawks fans all over the country. I know Hollis is watching in Los Angeles for sure. He says, go Tomahawks. Tomahawks looking to press after that. Shot, oh, deflection goes wide. Gray in the corner. Loses a puck, Medlock. Tries to center, back to the bull court shot. Oh, nice save, Lavoy. Track that going glove side. Boy, I tell you, as a goaltender, that's one of those goals you want back. Bellamore from the bull court. Tom Ox looking to clear the puck out of their zone. Caffrey hits the center line, dumps it. Done. Mm. Saints able to clear the puck out of the zone. Caffrey backhands it up, but not good enough. Chrism. Looking to dizzle dazzle. Shot. Oh, rips it high. Blocker side over. Lakata. And then they look to center and not able to do so. Medlock trying to go. Medlock trying to do it. He got rubbed out. I don't know if that was Gorman, but that was a great defensive play. Miner in the corner. Dornan up the boards to Chrism. Chrism. Trying to skate through it, he does. Oh, no! What a goal! Chrism 
with Giles, was able to skate through Dunn, and somehow, again, the goaltender's getting victimized by the bad bounce, and that goal beats Lakata five hole. And the Saints have tied it up with 4-12 left in the first. We have a 1-1 game, folks. Giles and Estes on the draw. Sadowski takes down somebody. We got Woods, shot, save Lavoy. Prism unassisted. Saints win the draw. Looking to clear the puck. Not able to do so. Uh, oh, we got a tumble. No penalty. As Gorman got taken down. Sadowski tried to enter the zone. Not able to do so off a defender. Nice move by Estes. Looking to break in. Tomahawk's able to stifle him. That was DeBocourt. DeBocourt. Looking to clear the puck. Does. Woods. Up. Bullen. Misplays the puck. Hits off one of his teammates' skates. And then we get Pickett. Pickett up to Trahan. Trahan. Fans on his shot. It's in. In skates. And Dunn missed it. Backhand. Almost a turnaround attempt. By Estes. Back to the point. Shot goes wide. Saints looking to establish something on a two-on-one. I believe that was Daniker up the boards to Trahan. Oh, intercepted by Edgerly. Tomahawk's getting a little sloppy. Chrism. Oh, and that puck was over, and Pickett. Able to connect with the puck, but on the opposite side of the blue line. Knocking that clearing attempt back into the Tomahawk zone. Touched by one of his teammates, line mates. We have offsides. And we've got one of the refs with a broken stick. Khan and Chrism square off. Chrism wins the draw. Saints dump. Caffrey. Met in the corner by Edgerly. Oh, nice move. Shot. Save. Chrism. On a nice shot. Tom Ox clear the puck. Touches some bodies. Daniker to try to back in. Not able to get the puck out of the zone. I think it was Farrell down there working against the boards, against a couple Saints. Dealing with Chrism. And the other and his brother. Oh, nice deflection by Khan on that passing attempt. Farrell, met by Chrism. Pickett. Pickett with the puck again, up to Chrism. To Chrism, over the blue line. Chrism, dancing, looking for someone across. Just dumps it in the corner. To Bocourt, backhands to Dunn. Looking to clear out of the Tomahawk zone. Not intercepted before the blue line by Estes. Tries to center. Not even will do so. Tom Ox can't clear the puck, and now they do. And that puck actually goes down to the down into the blue paint. Lavoie covers, and we have a face-off to Nate Lavoie's left with a buck 25 left in the first period. Shots seven to four. Saints. Saints win the draw. Able to bank that puck out. And that puck careens down. Saints will be called for an icing. Well, you knew, I knew that, like we talked about before the game, Nick, that this was going to be a, a, a game that could go either way. Right. Both these teams playing each other twice this season already. Um, once early, once mid. And, and both, goal, both games, you know, were one goal games and Beaulieu just uh, ended up him and Trahan. Shot save! Lavoie. That shot by DeBocourt. And we have an offside. 
Well, I feel like I'm watching exactly what you had told me before the game, Andy. As Trahannon, I think that was Makari, Makahe. Hopefully I, and I apologize to you Saints fans if I butcher anybody's last name. I, I, I apologize in advance. Andy has said these Tomahawks players' uh, names, you know, hundreds of times now, so he's got it locked in. Some of them. Some. Some. Well, I'd say most. Most. <laughs> Dunn misplayed that. Getting caught up. The Saints do control. Estes, and he gets dumped, and now Caffrey's going to go for a tripping call. Oh, boy. Yep. Thanks for watching today's broadcast on Merrimack TV. If you're watching on our website, you can also watch on your big screen by downloading Cablecast ScreenWeave on your Roku, Apple TV, or Amazon Fire device. That's just a, one of the many ways to watch Merrimack TV. Saints win the draw after Caffrey called for a tripping penalty. 41 seconds left in the first. And uh, Tom Mock's able to dump. Saints give chase, looking to come out of their zone. Chrism. Over his blue line. Center line. Tom Mock's blue line. Looking to set up. Back to the point to Chrism. Chrism moving around. Backhands. Goes wide. Done. Up the boards. Up to Miner. Who just dumps and chases. We got eight seconds left. Bolin clears. Up to Chrism. Over the center line. Looking to get in. Oh, met by. Done. And that's the end of the first period. Score tied 1-1 between the St. Thomas Aquinas Saints and our Merrimack Tomahawks. Shots after the first period, 7-5 Saints. We have a 1-1 tie. When we come back for the second period, Tomahawks will be on the penalty kill with a buck 19 remaining on the tripping penalty to Patrick Caffrey. Well, we're, we're live, Andy, so we don't have to go anywhere. Oh, you know what? We can. I, <laughs> you know, I am so glad you said that, Nick, because yeah. I'm so used to us doing a broadcast where we get right. to we get to dump at, <laughs> at the intermission. <laughs> That's right. We get to go take a walk around the arena. Right. We get to uh, go have a coffee. Absolutely, or, we do. Or uh, chat with Tomahawks fans in the stands. Uh, so this is fun. So we get to actually chit chat, or make googly eyes with my wife, not you, but you me. You can. To, where is Jen? We're gonna give a shout out to Jen. We're gonna give a shout out to Jen. We don't want to do that to Jen her. Jen Berkeley is watching. She's watching live in person here. Um, but we're excited that you're watching live at home, wherever that may be. We would love to give you a shout out. So if you're watching this on MerrimackTV.com or on a streaming device. You can just find us on Twitter or Facebook, and we'll give you a shout-out. We want to know who you are, where you're watching from, and how you're watching. I know that Gail Crosby, she's a huge fan. I think her grandson's on the team, if oh, I'm not nice. mistaken. And she's been messaging us since the beginning of the season. <laughs> Will your games be live? Will your games be live? We couldn't go live from JFK. No, West Side, West Side Arena. Excuse me, West Side I, I Ice Arena. I did that, right. Right, well, you know what? Pete from Nashua messaged me earlier. He said, wow, your test feed looks great from uh, JFK. I said, no, 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 we're at the Everett Arena. And he said, oh, even better. So now here I am thinking we're somewhere that we're not. But right. Um, so hit us up on social media. You know, Gail Crosby's watching the game. Gail, I'd love to know where you're watching from, um, which state you're watching from, and whether you're watching on our website or on a streaming device. Uh, we love giving shout outs. So you can just find us on Facebook or Twitter at Merrimack TV. Respond to our most recent tweet, which is about today's game. Uh, just comment, you know, you're a Tom Ox fan, you're a Saints fan. We'd love to hear from you. Absolutely. Andy, what do you think so far about this game? Well, you know, we you, we talked before we got we jumped on, and, and, and typical uh, for you folks that are, may, may, you know, listening to the broadcast maybe for the first time, you know, Nick and I have got a history. We've been doing hockey together. We've been doing football, although uh, not directly for me for, for Merrimack TV. But, right. w but before the home games, uh, during the football season, Nick would oftentimes – you know, pick my brain about, okay, what do you know, what do you think, you know, about the opposition, what have you. So we were talking um, before the game in terms of what we looked at, and, and I pulled some stats, and what's interesting, and I might have mentioned this earlier, you know, both teams come in with, with, with offenses that have scored goals. I mean, St. Thomas averaging 5.17 goals a game over their, this season, 
and the Tomahawks averaging just shy of four and a half goals a game. So you're looking at two teams that are are matched even, you know, pretty close when it comes up to offenses. And with the Tomahawks having a slight edge on t defense, um, giving up 2.33 goals a game versus 2.44. So it, it's very negligible. You know, this game, the secret, you said, well, what's the one difference maker of this game? And right. I said to you, what did I say to you? You said it's about penalties. It's about penalties. Right. It's, a, it's going to be about special teams in this game. And whoever stays out of the box is going to win this game. So let's stay out of the box, Tomahawks. And, and we talked <laughs> out of the box, Tomahawks. Tom Tom well, out of the that. box, Tomahawks. And we talked about, and again, I didn't have the uh, the opportunity to go to the Gosstown game. Um, but my daughter, who happens to be a, a senior at Merrimack, told me about the game and mentioned that the Tomahawks were plagued with some penalties early on that stifled their offense. And so now we're coming out of the first period. Uh, you know, Tomahawks were able to get on the board early. Saints obviously countered with a late first period goal, but now going in to the start of the second period on a fresh sheet of ice, jazzed that they were able to negate the, the lead by, by the Tomahawks, and now knowing that this game is back to a 0-0 a zero -zero game and have a man advantage for a buck 19 on their home ice, this is going to be this could be one of those moments that define the rest of the game. So we'll see what happens, Nick. It's it's going to be it's going to be something. But then we still have a lot of hockey. We still have 30 minutes of hockey to play, two periods. So anything uh, anything can happen. Anything can happen. So this is a, a really exciting moment for us here because you know we've never covered an NHI AA semifinal game, let alone a hockey game here at the Everett Arena. We weren't even sure if we were going to be able to go live right, with our technology. Right. With the tech. But uh, we got here. I got here at three o'clock. No, before that, I got here about two thirty this afternoon. Snapping me pic videos. I sending was me vi <laughs> sending me videos. I said, "We're gonna do it, Andy. We're really gonna do it." <laughs> We're gonna Excuse do it, Andy. That. It's gonna happen. I know. It, uh, you sent me the did. video, and I'm like, I'm like, I know that spot. So, so last year, um, through through again because of my my relationship with you and yep. your contacts with other local media services and and what have you, I was asked to come to the Everett, yeah, to do a, a, a girls hockey um, playoff game uh, involving the the ladies from Bishop Girton, I gotcha. believe it was. And the same dude that you hooked me up with for National Football. Yeah, Pete, Pete Johnson. Pete, Pete's right. the man. Pete. Big shout out to Pete Johnson. Oh, dude, look who oh just showed up and rolled is Everybody's in. here. Oh, wow. What's we got up, Gary? Gary, Gary Kozlowski <laughs> is in the house. He's in the building. Nice. You were listening to it. Gary That's was so funny. Good. You can you could watch Merrimack TV anywhere. Gary was watching the game while driving. Well, he was listening <laughs> the game, not watching the game. Hopefully, listening. That was a joke for you folks. Well, for you folks Merrimack at home, Merrimack PD's got to know that was a joke. That he was a joke. Was not a distracted driver. He was listening Gar to the game. <laughs> Gary is a dear friend of Merrimack TV, and he's been one of my buddies. He helps out uh, as one of my spotters in the booth when we're doing football games, and uh, and Gary does some play by play, uh, does some stuff with soccer well, and what have you, some other sports. And that's, and that's what we're trying to do at Merrimack TV, part of our identity moving forward uh, throughout the pandemic and after, you know, what we realize is we're trying to build community through media. We want to bring people together. Absolutely. Gary swung by our open house at Community Media Day uh, this past October, and, you know, it's been great getting to know more of the folks connected to the a the athletic department, period. Right. You know, Mike Susie, and then the, some of the coaches, and then also just uh, parents, players, etc. And then all, uh, also we have a great relationship with the music department um, at the schools what, as well. Right. Holly Levine at the middle school, Bunny Ser uh, Serenita, S Serenita. At, the, at the high school, RJ Beck. You know, so we're really trying to build community through media. So if you want to get more interested in what Merrimack TV is, who we are and what we do, just go to MerrimackTV.com or follow us on social media. Uh, and we're a member station of the New Hampshire Coalition for Community Media. So that's how we're connected to Pete Johnson Exactly, in exactly. Uh, we're, we're, we're big fans of Pete uh, in Nashua, Bill Jennings in Bedford, Chris Gentry uh, in Milford. Um, I could I could rattle off everybody's name. Andrew the guys Friend over at Bedford. The, the guys over in Hudson because we had Jim McIntosh and Hudson. Exactly, awesome exactly guy. right. Uh, so Tom and Aaron every, and um, everyone at Salem TV. Uh, there's just a great network of people and 
We want to give shout-outs to Tomahawks and Saints fans. Gail Crosby did get back to us. Oh, nice. She says, you're doing a great job. Oh, come on. She said we're both doing a great job, but really it's she's, Andy doing a great job. She's gracious and kind. She is watching her grandson, who obviously playing for Merrimack, Farrell. Oh, Will she's Farrell. watching from uh, Nashua nice. on her iPad. So nice. big shout-out to Gail Thanks, Crosby. Gail. I'd love to know, what, what's, what, do you, what sort of game-day snack you think Gail's having? Right? I don't know, man. I, I, she's probably, dinner time. Hopefully it's not fingernails. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't go fight those fingernails because this game is not over yet. It's not over There's yet. There's two more periods we still of, got a of, lot of, of, hockey of fun going on. We've got, uh, we've got Colin Marr and Justin Slez doing, uh, sh- taking turns sharing, uh, doing instant replays. They're covering community channel shows right now. Wow. So they're taping, they're taping two com- uh, community channel shows back to back. And uh, then and then getting us with the feed. And, and getting us with the feed, making right. sure that everything's working. And, and it's we're, we were able to do it. I'm pretty excited about this. I, I know that the... Uh, the, the Merrimack High School hockey fans, the, the group on Facebook there, and our friend Stacy. St- I was in contact with Stacy this afternoon. She was a, a big help. I said, you got to share our announcement. If we pull this off, please share the announcement. Wow. She did. So we've been able to pull it off, and, and it's been fun so far. Um, yeah, and now we got Gary up here, too. I wish we had a third headset for I know. Gary. Maybe I'll give him mine. Uh, yeah, maybe. I'll give you – why don't I – I'll give Gary uh, a headset for the second – Second a little period. bit of the second so, period. So you guys can, can do that. We'll have a special guest. And I'll jump back in on the third period. Right, whatever he wants to do. If you're up for it, Gary. Sure. Last time Gary and I did a hockey game together, we uh, wrote, was two, was that two years ago, Gary? You and I did the, uh, when Merrimack played Oyster River, was that two years ago? That wasn't last. It was two years ago. It had to be. We went up to Dover. We Remember, I grabbed oh, the yeah, yeah. I grabbed the gear, and, and you, you uh, graciously agreed to be my camera guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. So we still got two minutes left in our intermission, and uh, you know we've got a pretty decent house uh, here at uh, good crowd here at the Everett tonight. Uh, yeah, there's this afternoon this evening. So this is uh, way more than I expected to be honest with you. Oh, I knew yeah. I knew that there'd be a crowd here for sure, but uh, especially for a five o'clock game, right? Yeah, I'm sure. You know what? I bet there's still going to be a few stragglers coming in after. You know, people oh, I, get off of work, and yeah. Yeah, I definitely when you uh, when you texted me earlier this week and said, "Dude, you in?" and I'm like, "Let me change my schedule at work." And I've got you know, yeah. I've got a little bit of a you know flexibility to be able to do so and what have you. And uh, oh yeah, I was yeah, just, and I, I couldn't I, pass up an opportunity to do this. Fortunately, you know? I took a look at our uh, schedule. We had no amazingly, we had no meeting coverage. I should say, net a week from today is the town of Merrimack deliberative session. So we covered the school deliberative session on Monday. Right. Um, I just want to put a public service announcement out that next Wednesday, uh, March 15th at 7 p.m., the town of Merrimack will be hosting their annual deliberative session. That's where you, you as a Merrimack resident and a a voter can uh, take a look at the proposed warrant articles before they go to ballot. Um, And you could also, you know, propose amendments to the proposed warrant articles as well. Some of them, some of them you can't. Um, But we did the school deliberative session. So if you you missed that, you want to catch it, you can find it on our YouTube channel. But today's not about the deliberative session. It's not about municipal government. No. It is about covering this semifinal hockey game. I'm Nicholas LaValle, the Town of Merrimax Media Services Coordinator. I'm going to hand my headset over to our special guest of the day, Mr. Gary Kozlowski, to sit in on second period with Andy Berkeley. Here you go, Gary. Sweet. Kaczynski. 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 Kozlowski's a race car driver. Kozlowski. Yeah, Kozlowski's right. Kaczynski. So I've got the, so just catching Gary up. I've only we didn't get a roster, so this is what we got for a roster. Um, yeah, and we're just uh, here. You go. I mean, we got the instant replay right there, showing off some of the new tech to Gary. So this is pretty cool. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, we're live. I mean, oh, there you are. Oh yeah, there you go. All right, we're about ready for puck drop here to start the second period. Well, I'm feeling right at home. Miner and Chrism. Saints control. Get the puck in the Tomahawk zone, but Tomahawk's able to get it back into the Saints zone. Saints look to regroup. Chrism. Dumps for his brother. Rips up across the center line. Pass drop back. Shot by Chrism. Goes wide. Tomahawk says to clear, and they do. Possible two on one. Oh, nice breakup by Trahan. Oh, no, but that wasn't Trahan by Estes. Looking to skate in. Backhand. 
Oh, Medlock. Medlock ripping and gripping. Got a breakaway. Shoots. He scores. No. Oh. What do we got? Do we have a save? Do we have a goal? Oh, that was a save. That was a nice save. Lavoy with a beautiful save on a shorthanded bid by Madlock. Dunn and Chrism. Chrism able to come away with the draw. The other Chrism tries to get in and Tomox able to corral that puck, dump and clear. That was done. For hand. Around minor. Shot. It's done. Back to the point. Prism. Fans on the shot. We're gonna have a what are we gonna have here? High stick? Ah, uh, no. Nope. Uh, net, net broke loose. Net broke loose. So one of the Saints players, either intentionally or unintentionally, found themselves through the blue paint. Net came off the mooring. We got Khan against Estes. Estes won the draw. Back to Gorman who dumps it in to Bocorp. Behind the goal. Up to Farrell. Farrell Bass pick it. Puck goes into the zone. Farrell goes in. Gives a light bump to Gorman. Saints looking to clear the puck. Edgerly ramps up behind his goal. Chips the puck over Belmore's stick. Up to Mukahi. That puck goes back. Tom Ox looks to control. Farrell. Dumps it in. Mukahi, excuse me, on the last name again. So Pickett stops behind the goal. Up to Edgerly. Edgerly tries a centering pass, not able to do so. Edgerly gets the puck over the zone. Dumps it behind Lakata. Beaulieu goes in the corner against Estes. Estes able to come away with it. To Bocourt, Estes behind the goals, turns and spins. Ooh. Oh, nice save, Lakata. That puck just got out to the to the far blocker side, or glove side, excuse me. Thank goodness there wasn't a seat hanging back door because that would have been a nice goal. Tomox looking to get the puck out of their zone, and they do. Belmore. Dumps onto Lavoie. Tomox able to kill the penalty. Belmore. Given chase, and that was Gray able to get the puck out of the zone. Gray. Backhands it up. Intercepted by Caffrey. Oh, and Caffrey just skated over. The blue line as Giles was trying to get back on side. Tomox had an opportunity for an odd man rush. Giles and Chrism square off on this. Chrism with the draw. Tomox pressing. Puck comes out to the neutral zone. Sadowski not able to keep the puck in the zone. Oh, he, the puck came off his body. And the Saints clear. Nice pass. Shot uh. scores! Oh my goodness! Dorman with a beautiful drop pass. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Chrism with a beautiful drop pass to Chrism. And just like that, had a breakdown, turnover. And the Saints are up 2-1. Chrism wins the draw. Gray went in and out of the Saints zone, and the Saints looking to get the puck out. Pass up to Dornan. Hit off his stick well before the center line, and Saints are called for icing.
still waiting for the announcement from the uh, from the stadium announcer on that last goal, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be Chrism from Chrism. Tom Ox looking to control the puck, but they don't. Pick it. Trying to get the puck out. Hits off a minor. Eventually, Saints get the puck. Control the puck. Chrism doing his thing up the left side. Trying to weave his way through traffic. Shot goes wide. And that puck careens down the boards all the way back into the Saints zone. And Pickett, buying his goal, starts ramping up. Loses the puck. Oh! oh and Miner couldn't connect. Done. Medlock. Medlock gets railed high by Daniker. And we don't see an arm up, so we're not going to get a penalty. Medlock back to the point. Oh, Dunn not able to control the puck. Off the boards to Dunn. Dunn intercepted by Edgerly. Then Dunn. Oh, and his pass attempt, centering pass attempt off a skate. And the Saints looking to come back. Edgerly met by Dunn. Medlock behind the goal, looks to backhand, doesn't get the puck out. Shot through traffic by Estes. And Lakata able to make the save. So Chrism assisted by Dornan and Gray. So I did have Dornan right on that drop pass, I think. But wow, that's a nice play. That shot attempt by Bullen goes off of Khan's knee. Shot in. Oh, nice save. I believe that was Trahan. The Bocourt getting challenged by Makahe. Tomox able to get the puck out of the zone. Finally do. Farrell up the left side. Puck off the boards. Met by Gorman. Around. Gorman. Pass up to Makai. Not able to clear the puck. Tom Ox control. Oh! oh score! No! no! Score! It hit the post! Oh, it looked like it, it went right in. It hit the post and didn't bounce the Tom Ox way. Oh. I could have sworn that went in. Boy. Nope. Referee called it off. Did not, that puck did not cross the line. I was watching him the whole time. Holy smokes, and it looks like we're going to have an interference call. After the Tomahawks are looking to... Looking to press the attack against the Saints. And Gavin Bullen is going to be called for interference. Shot done. Blocker save Lavoy. Tomox looking to control the puck, and they do. Done. Going at it. Can't see who that was. Oh, and that was Pickett. Done over the red over the blue line. Looking to control the puck. Dumps it around. Pickett. And done in the corner. Puck goes back to the point. Oh. Pass by Miner. Not able to connect with anybody. Dunn goes in, trees that puck. Dunn kind of lazily tried to backhand oh. that to somebody. Nice job by Miner. Back to Medlock. Medlock, big shot. Shot save. S nice save, short side by Lavoie. Oh, and Dunn not able to snap that one. A clearing attempt out. Medlock regroups down by his blue line over the center line, flying in. Met by Chrism. Dunn over skates past Chrism, looking for centering pass. Dumps it behind to De Beaucourt. De Beaucourt taps it back. Minor looking for, to center. Medlock over to Dunn. Dunn shot. Oh, glove save. Lavoy saw it all the way. Tomox will have 40 seconds left on the power play. They need to make the most of this opportunity. Done on the draw, wins it back. Medlock, one-timer shot. 
Oh, and somehow, Lavoy able to get the, squeeze the pad down on that one-timer by Medlock. Wow, that was a nice save. Dunn Chrism again. Chrism wins this one. Back to Pickett. Pickett getting harassed by Miner. And then Chrism up. Able to dump the puck off the boards. All the way down. Dunn intercepts behind. Passes up. Misses everybody. And now the Saints looking to play tic-tac-toe. But the Tomahawks control it through the neutral zone. Oh, oh that was a bad attempt. Medlock. Over by Chrism. Medlock just getting mauled. That'll do it. Back to full strength. And the Saints kill the penalty. Miner. Not able to do anything with that. McCahey dumps in. Tomahawks looking to get the puck into the Saints zone. And they do. Miner, behind the goal, doesn't have any help at all. Gets dumped. Oh, my goodness. Oh, slashing. No, there's another tripping penalty. Oh, it's tripping. That'll be a, that'll be a tripping penalty. Oh, yeah, great replay, boys. Boys back in the studio doing a great job with the replays. Then Connor Gray will sit two minutes for tripping. Tomox get another opportunity. They got to make the most of this. They win the drop. Back to the point. Shot to flex wide. Sadowski back to Caffrey. Caffrey playing off the skates. Sadowski over Woods. Oh! And Estes able to get the puck and dump it. Licata. Stops it. Tom Ox looking to regroup. Caffrey over the red line, over the blue line. Just out of his reach. And then, it, once again, Saints able to drop it. Giles back behind the goal. No! Oh. Oh, Great what a save! save. Maddie Lakata with a beautiful save on a giveaway to Rush. Tom Ox looking to press. Shot. Ooh, oh, nice shot by Miner. Lavoie able to get that blocker up there. Holy smokes. I don't know if that was Resch or Estes who was able to benefit from that missed cue. But wow, did Lakata come up with a big pad save. Tom Ox won the draw. Done. Shot ricochets off of Chrism. The other Chrism gets the puck and dumps it. Dunn not able to keep the puck in the same zone. Still go back to his zone, and he does. Dunn into Dunn, getting harassed by Pickett. Tom Ox looking for center pass oh. shot. Oh, oh off Medlock the shoulder. tried to rip that high blocker side. Dunn. No, not it. And that was into Saints traffic, and Chrism able to dump the puck. With 34 seconds left on this second penalty of the period to the Saints. Dunn dumps puck in down the right boards. Miner gets the puck and just kind of tries to do something not definitive. And then Chrism comes away with it. Not anything big. Dunn. Oh! And that was close. Off a stick. Tom Ox, no. And Medlock and Chrism meet at the blue line, and the puck goes off a stick up into the Tomahawk bench. And we got two seconds left on the power play as the teams change lines. Khan wins draw back to Belmore. Belmore, oh! The Bullcourt fanned on it. And now the Saints looking to control. Gorman up the boards. Around. The Bullcourt gets a backhand. Oh, Farrell trying to get the puck out. 
and does. Kahn at Belmore. Kahn with a long wrister and a stick save by Lavoie. Con and Estes will square off to the right of Lavoie. Tomox looks to control the puck. Goes behind Lavoie. Belmore. Looking to center. Not able to do so. Belmore and Gorman going at it. Con gets in with Resch. Nestes. Met by Tomok defenders before he can enter the Tomox zone. Stifled. Tomox looking to clear. And we do have. Nope. They wave off the icing. As Gorman looks to clear the puck up the zone through the neutral zone. Out of their zone. Beaulieu to Dunn. Dunn back. Farrell on the boards. Farrell looks to control. A little bit too far for Belmore. Team's just trying to get some bodies. Oh, and a turnover. Turnover behind Licata. The Saints looking to capitalize on that. Nice deflection on Chrism's shot by Dunn. Dunn through the neutral zone. Oh. Met by Bolin. And Bolin out of his zone. Oh, nice sweep check by Caffrey. And then Chrism. And then Caffrey again. Caffrey looking to center. And his centering pass was an attempt to... Attempted pass to someone in a blue sweater. But unfortunately that didn't happen. And the puck went all the way down to Lavoie. And he's able to glove it. And get a face off. A stop and play with 3.02 left in the second period. Dunn wins a draw. Back to the point. Caffrey. Puck... Goes all the way around. Medlock tries to backhand it in the corner. Chrism. Met by Dunn. Dunn back to Dunn. Shot. Right into the chest of Lavoie as he butterflies. And makes that save in the bread basket. What do you think, Gary? God, I tell you, it's been an interesting second half, second period. A lot of energy in here. A lot of energy. Tom Ox had some opportunities. Saints able to clear the puck out of their zone. Looking to attack. Chrism. Shot. Save. Lakata. I have to tell you, these Chrism brothers are some hockey players. Both these boys have, both of them have wheels. Estes and Dunn. Shot. Oh, oh good save. what a save by Lakata. Shot to the point. Deflects. Oh, that goes over. Shot by Gorman off the point. Tomox looking to clear the puck. Not able to do so. Gray keeps the puck in to Trahan behind the goal. Trahan to Makahe to, Tr to Gray. Gray not able to do anything with that. Tomox looking to get the puck through the neutral zone. And they do. But Makahe going one-on-one -on -one with Caffrey. Caffrey takes him right in the boards. Trahan tries to go short side. I don't know if that was a centering pass attempt or if that was just an errant shot, but Lakata just gets the glove on that and stops play with a buck 48 left in the second. Shots 16 to 13 Tomahawks. Seem to have the, the edge on shots in the second period, but not the quality that you'd hope. Saints win the draw, back to the point. Oh, that shot deflected by Bullen. Goes wide. To Bocart. Slows things down as Chrism goes just, oh, and Belmore with a, just a terrible, oh! terrible, terrible pass attempt, a clearing attempt. Oh, that's just brutal. He's not going to want to watch that replay. And all of this energy, there's the, just because of the turnover by Belmore, 
Oh, and now we, oh. Have, now we have it the other direction. Shot. Oh. Say, but oh, Farrell had Belmore if you would have just paid attention. And not rushed it. Now the Saints looking to clear. Chrism. Over to Chrism. Skates around to Bocourt. Not able to do much. And to Bocourt takes the body. Oh, nice backhand save. Come on, guys. Khan. Kind of by himself. 45 seconds left in the period. Khan with very little help. Trying to rub out Pickett. And the Saints clear and Chrism over the blue line. Oh, looks to get around to the Caffrey and does. Met by Dunn. 26 seconds left. Dunn. Up to Dunn. Kind of by himself. To Medlock. Turned on the Jets. A lot of white jerseys, though. Medlock. Oh, Look nice. at the center. Nobody hove. Dunn. Turn and burn, but nothing there. Misses wide. Dornan to neutral zone and neutral ice and Caffrey gets the puck and just dumps and holds. And at the end of two periods, the Saints are up two to one. Tom Ox did come back with some uh, in shots, but not the quality of shots you'd hope for. A lot of turnovers going either way. Tomahawks definitely had more opportunities in terms of Man advantage minutes. I got a feeling come the third period, it's going to be a totally different game. Different game. It, it's going to be very interesting, Gary. You bring up good points. Uh, I I don't know. I, I would have thought, you know, the Tomahawks had two. They had four minutes, four full minutes of a man advantage. Almost, almost back to back with not even maybe 30, 45 seconds early in the second period after they'd already killed a buck 19 of, of penalty time that they had, right? So you think that they would have come out of that, that being down a man, great penalty kill, you know, and have two opportunities and, and be able to do something with that, but they don't. They Stop fall short. Mm -hmm. I tell you, I've been in a number of playoff games, and this place a little small, but I think if everybody was sitting down, there'd be no seats left. This place is probably close to capacity uh, it's close it's probably think you could probably squeeze a couple more well i i, I see what you're saying so if you uh, you got a lot of people yeah. standing no, down stand up. yeah very interesting and i think there was more merrimack there might be more merrimack uh fans fans certainly uh they're a lot louder than the uh the other team yeah, I would say. I would say. What do you think? What do you think, Nick? What do I think? I, I, am I, do they look like, do, does, does the team look like they're getting tired? I don't know. I, I don't know if I, is that appropriate to say? I don't know. I don't know. I, I it, tired, I, I could definitely tell there was some, some, there was some sloppiness there. Uh, there were two turnovers that could have cost the, the, the Tomahawks dearly, even more so than what had already happened. Um, th it was just... And I think when I asked that, both teams... Both, oh, no, absolutely. Able, yeah. Bo both teams, there's... They did, definitely ran right. out of gas. You saw, you saw the Tomahawks have two... Give away two opportunities in their zone late in the second. And then almost create a, 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 an odd man advantage when one of the Saints defenders blows a tire right on the blue line. It seemed like the blue line just reached out and took the skates right out from underneath them, right? And instead of a pass over to Belmore, who was wide open, Farrell decided to take a long wrister. And uh, again, the, the Tomahawks missing a, an opportunity to do something there. So c fatigue late in the season. Um, all of the above, it'll be an interesting third, right? Interesting third, at, that's to say the least. Well, we're here live on Merrimack TV, the first time we have a live hockey game ever. And it's a semifinal game here with the Tomahawks taking on the Saints. And I know that we have uh, Tomahawks fans watching. 
Uh, I was trying to get the Saints uh, AD to retweet our coverage, but I've oh. yet to do so. Oh, boy. I mean, they're posting the score there, but we would love to hear from Saints fans. I know there's a number of them here, but we want to give uh, whoever wants a shout out. We'd love to shout you out. Just hit us up on our Twitter at Merrimack TV or our Facebook page. I know Gail Crosby is watching. I know her husband is here uh, in the stands. In the but, stands. Yeah, oh, but, nice. Yeah. Nice. So he's here with uh, uh, son-in-law and Will's sister, who also goes to Merrimack. But oh, awesome. Gail is at home. I bet she's having some game day snacks. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe uh, I mean I had a bag of popcorn earlier. Yeah, maybe. but uh, you know, <laughs> hockey, hockey game day snacks and football game day snacks are a little bit different. A little Nick. bit different. Yeah, what's yeah, your What's your go to uh, game day snack? For what? Hockey for or football? Hockey. Oh, I don't have a game day snack for hockey. No, man. No, <laughs> no. I mean, there's no time. No, you're there's just... no there's no time. I mean, I I, I am a, I am a snack delicious kind of guy. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I I like to get my snack on. Oh yes. Um, <laughs> But you know, for hockey, it's a little bit different. Uh, you know, when you when you play, when you know, when, you pl- when you're when you're a hockey player, of course, as an athlete, you you kind of tune your body in. Some guys do it differently. I can't eat before I play. Yeah, uh, I'm not a big proponent of eating before I announce either. No, because you know, I I do. I, I get I get the jitters. I get that nervous little you know knot in my stomach. Yeah. Um, it's the it's the it's the anxious you know you're doing something new you don't know you know you you, you hope you don't mumble and fumble and tumble your way through through the broadcast well, which I've been known to do I know uh, uh, Andy, once I've, or twice I've seen you I, when we're at the, uh, the at the West Side Ice Arena I mean you're standing on the bleacher and you're so animated I think you're about to fly away you some, get so animated and, and some <laughs> days I am and some days I'm just chilling through you know and uh, so snack if I was at home preferably watching a game you know anything with with a uh, any kind of uh, a chip or a yeah. something like that with cheese Go salty would, would would be like although I will say one of my favorite snacks uh, and I'd have to figure I can't I can't name drop the uh, the manufacturer but okay. I think it's a popcorn company out of the Midwest <laughs> all right <laughs> and they did this chocolate Slash, oh, I know what you're talking about. You know, sweet and yes. savory oh, or yeah. salty or what have you. Yes. And there was, there was chocolate coating involved on some kind of a popcorn-esque type of. <laughs> <laughs> Andy's keeping it super generic, yet so descriptive. I'm hungry. Oh, I'm telling you. I know Colin and Justin back at Town Hall, they probably already ran down the street to grab a bag of that right. popcorn. Right, right. <laughs> I just want to give a shout out to Gary again for jumping on, and, and yes. I, I feel like Gary. I almost feel like I talked way too much. Well, there was a lot to say. There was a, there was lot, a lot to lot say. To say so but uh, I enjoyed every minute of it. I just like hearing you guys going back and forth. Now appreciate and that. Between periods and Gary like Kaczynski. Said, no, Gary just, Kaczynski. I was saying yeah. Kozlowski, which is one of the former Merrimack Police. That's what. I'm oh, saying. there you Kozlowski. go. He's also a race car driver. That's, that's Kozlowski. Right. Yeah, hey, Rubin, Rubin's racing, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop. I will stop. And we've got, I don't know if we have Colin or Justin who is doing the replays, but whoever's doing it, uh, you guys are doing a great job. Absolutely. Fantastic job. Absolutely. So I know, you know, our, our Justin Slez did, was doing replays for a Bedford game over the weekend. Really? Uh, yeah. I said, hey, not too far away. You yeah. Know? <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, well, you know. But the thing is, is we, we work together. We're, we're member stations of the New Hampshire Coalition for Community Media, so it was great that Justin could go over there and give them a hand. Absolutely. Uh, and Dale, our friend Dale and Andrew Fenn set him up, and uh, and and Justin did a great job. I know because Bill from Bedford TV called me up today and said, oh, wow, I'm so thankful that they had Justin. And nice. So I said, nice. Uh, but it's Justin. Justin took over halfway through period two. So now we got Justin, and uh, I'm just psyched that this happened. Yes, uh, I, I am too. This is for me again, you know, and, and I want to just throw a shout out. If you're listening and you live in the Merrimack community and you want to be involved, you, you've you been trying to figure out a way to get involved in the community, I'm telling you what, reach out to Nick or Justin or Colin at, at Merrimack TV and, and, and find out what you can do to be involved in the community. You don't have to be the voice or the face. You, there's so much stuff to do behind the, scene, behind the scenes to be involved and, and and just help out and, and, you know, just pay it forward in your own community. I mean, Gary and I have been doing volunteering our time at football games for years. Uh, we both had uh, had sons that played at Merrimack. And, um, you know, and then they've gone on to do other things after they've graduated. But Gary stays involved. Uh, I mean, 
Yes, I've got a daughter still as a senior in high school, but she's not an athlete. She's a she does stuff outside of, of, of high school and um, and is very involved in, in what she does. And um, you know, but I, I'm still involved in, yeah. in Merrimack athletics and our Merrimack athletics, and I keep on thinking that you know that Mr. Susie, that Mike's going to give me a, a pink slip. Right, he's not letting you go yeah. anywhere. Right, and he's not. Every time I show up to do a football game on Friday night, and I'm in the uh, and I'm in the booth, I always, you know, I always joke with Mike about, you know, hey, uh, I don't, I don't see a pixel in your hand. He's like, he looks at me like, dude, you've got this gig for as long as you want it. Yeah. Really, I know. I um, want to steal you from him. I know. <laughs> I, I know. I, it would be, I, you know, I say that jokingly, but yeah, uh, I mean, we'd love to have you. We got Dave and Ralph; they're willing to do football again this season. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's fun getting your pregame comments and trying to insert them. But we were talking at the last hockey game. Maybe there's a way to get Gary and Andy into a halftime segment or something. I think we'll I think figure that it out for cool. next season. It'd be really cool. There's, there's typically, and Gary can vouch for for this. When we do a football game. There's I so I'm usually really keyed up and one of the things Gary and I've been doing is to to just change it up a little bit so Gary will do like the 50 50 raffle or Gary will do um, some uh, some other announcements that that you know or maybe I'll have Gary light up and do a couple PSAs so it's just a different voice than what what you've been hearing so if we have usually about seven eight nine minutes. Um, depending on how long the halftime show is or how short it is, where we could, we would love to have a, a, a camera just on us yeah. and do a back and forth if real quick. If we could figure that out. If we could if we, do that. Justin, Justin, take some notes. Justin's back I don't know. Just, we're just throwing it out there, we'll right? We'll figure it out. I, there's got to be a way. This is fun. What? Dave, who does the football play-by-play he's watching the game right Come now on. oh yeah he just said he, he just hit us up he said shout out to the legendary andy berkeley oh, come on dave who not you. only brings the unbelievable hockey coverage but also helps ralph and i with his fantastic pa work during the time oh you, you too kind because he can too like you kind. said earlier he can hear you in the background so Whoa. they'll rely on you because sometimes dave will make a call and go oh i was wrong Andy Burton got I can't, it right. You know what? And, and that's the trip. I, I'm telling you, you go back. I go back and watch. I'll watch a game. And to hear my voice and then hear the guys talk is a riot it's to fun. me. It's, it's an fun. absolute riot. Those so, guys do such a great job. So Dave says, hockey snack of choice, a hot dog with mustard from the concession stands. Go Tomahawks. And thank you, Andy and Gary, for your incredible volunteerism. So there you go. That's a Tomahawks Sweet. fan right there. I think he's a bigger Andy Berkeley fan. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Game I'm just, day snack, I'm hot just dog a, and You mustard. know what, Nick? At the end of the day, I'm just a guy who is just incredibly blessed with an opportunity to do something that he enjoys. Yeah. I, 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 I enjoy doing this. I don't do it for anything other than what a blast. And I get to hang out with some really cool people. We have you and I, I mean, Gary and I have some great conversation in the booth. You and I have some great conversation in the booth. Gary and I catch up about the kids and what's going on and families and Absolutely. stuff. It's, it's fantastic. And we are ready for puck drop as soon as the clock gets reset. So Merrimack can turn this around. Absolutely. Dunn on the draw, wins the draw, back to Dunn. Medlock. Puck intercepted by Dorman. Met by Dunn. Puck, oh, rifled in, shot well over Licata. Puck back to the point, Chrism Dunn able to skate by. Met by Chrism, nice stick check on Dunn. And he looks to clear, not able to do so, and does. Intercepted by Dunn, looking to get the puck back into the Saints zone and does on a backhand. Minor, trying to get some pressure. Dunn back to the point. Kind of a, ooh, not a really strong shot. Oh, Medlock, shot. Oh, just ripped that just over the crossbar. And Caffrey not able to keep that puck in the zone. Turns, no, bad pass. Chrism skates in around, looks a backhand pass. Oh, and wow. Wow, 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 wow. Chrism with a beautiful backhand pass. Spin around over to Dorman, who was met by a Tomahawk defender and got, uh, I think that might have been Medlock. Not able to do a whole lot to get a shot on Lakata. 
We did get a stop and play. Con and Estes. Estes wins the draw back to the point. That shot. From Bowen, gloved by Lakata. Not too many penalties tonight, right? Well, what we've we, had, what have we we've had, had three, penalties? three penalties. Okay. Better than expected. Well, that's what you'd want in a game like this where, where you know, special teams is going to be the difference. Nice move, Chrism. Oh, beautiful glove save. I'm sorry, that was Trahan with that, that wrister. Got the replay. Trahan coming in and pushing that puck away using Beaulieu as, a, as almost a partial screen. And Licata able to go wide with the glove and track that down. Giles against Edgerly. Beaulieu. Oh, Woods trips up Gorman. Puck goes back to the point, blockered away. Chrism shot by Licata. Oh! Giles. Oh, and Giles getting ripped by Chrism. Went in backwards. Tomahawks not able to keep the puck in the same zone, and they look to break out. Giles, center ice, dumps the puck back in. Woods. Oh, boy. Sadowski got dumped. All right. Now they can give chase. The Saints look to clear the puck out of the zone, and they do. Chrism just dumps. Oh, no! Rush had an opportunity. Chrism to Chrism. Chrism turning to Vernon. Looking to shoot. Met by some bodies. Gets tumbled. Done. Up to Giles. To Zadowski, long wrister, sticked away by Lavoy. Pick it up the boards. Puck ends up on Chrism's tape. Tries a centering pass, not able to do so. Intercepted by Dunn. Yet the Saints still control. Oh, little sloppy play there, and oh. I got it. I got it. Sadowski. Ended up getting the puck on his tape, trying to connect with Medlock up the middle, and that was just too strong. Puck ends up on Lavoie's stick, and we get a face off to his left. Pickett, behind the goal, looking to pass up the boards. Does to Trahan, Trahan up to Chrism. Chrism, attack from behind by Miner, who takes a puck away. Skates around Dorman. Up to Dunn. Dunn going one on one against Pickett. Dunn, shot, save. Lavoie with the glove. Eleven forty left in the third. Tomahawks down a goal. Dunn and Estes on that draw. Estes with, wins the draw. Oh, broken up. Medlock, shot. Oh, he scores! He scores! Elliot Medlock on the turnover. Nice. With that post in on the boy. Holy cow. We got ourselves oh, a game. Oh, my goodness. McCaughey turned over the puck just as he's trying to exit the blue line and get out of their zone, and wow, did Medlock rip that. You heard the tink up here with my headphones on. Oh my goodness. Oh, it is loud, it is loud in here. It, everyone is fired up. Let's Tomahawks go, Tom win the draw, and the puck is down in the zone. Medlock loses a stick. Saints looking to press. Chrism going down by Caffrey, looking to center. And that shot attempt from the point by Bullen goes wide. That's, we got someone on Twitter saying, go Tomahawks. 
great coverage. I don't have a name. Not sure where they're watching from, but thank you so much. We are on Twitter at Merrimack TV. Edgerly and Khan. Edgerly wins a draw. Shot from the point by Bolin. Goes wide. Gray able to dump around. Tomox looking to clear up to Belmore. Belmore chips it in. Farrell and Gray go at it. Gray looking to try to clear back to the point to Bocourt. Rister hits a body in front. Saints come out. Resch dumps into the corner. To Bocourt. Chases the puck. Looks to rip it all the way down. Tomox called for icing on that. The Bocourt didn't hesitate on just ripping that the length of the ice. I think Gail Crosby may be snacking on fingernails now. I'm telling you, Maybe. I just, again, I didn't want to, you know, I don't want to talk about her cuticles having to be <laughs> in a jeopardy or anything like that, but. Uh, all right, Chrism and Khan on the draw. Saints looking to control. Back to the point. Rister, shot. Ricochets around. Oh, to full court. Odd man run, but oh, look at nice move. Ryan trying to get in, gets a hook. Gorman hooks him, and wow, this could be the break. I'm telling you guys, it comes down to penalties and, and, and special teams, man. And this is going to be an opportunity for the Tomahawks to put a little separation. I'm telling you, one goal is not enough, but it's enough. Well, we and when I, when I say that in hockey, a goal can change a game. But two right. goals, nice cushion, but you don't ever want to sit back on your heels. No. We got Chris D on our Facebook page. He says, thank you for covering the game. Number eight played for me during the Shot Veterans save! Tournament. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all good. Watching the game from Northern Virginia. Northern Virginia. Holy smokes. Done in the corner. Uh, I'm sorry. He scores! No! Yes! Sorry, that was Brunner. Oh, my goodness. That was Owen Miner. Rips it high. Glove side. I got to see this replay. Holy smokes. Oh, yes, he did. Owen Miner. Wow. Holy cow. I see. We got Kevin Miner in the stands going crazy oh. here. And the Tomahawks take advantage of the power play. And go up three to two with 10-10 left in the third period. And the Everett Arena is rocking right now. Wow. Holy smokes. Estes trying to, trying to move and does a fancy dancey in, tries to center the pass, but has no help. Met by some blue jerseys. Dunn looking to clear. And he does, chips it through the center line. But, oh, nice play by Estes. Estes looking to take a shot. Oh, and that puck deflects off of Dunn and goes wide. Medlock trying to get the puck up the boards. Not able to do so. Puck comes back to the point. Shot in by one of the Saints. Trahan met by the, some Tomahawks. Puck goes to the center line. Back into the Tomahawk zone. Caffrey up to Dunn who dumps it. Miner giving chase. Saints get a little sloppy on some exit passes and finally get the puck through the neutral zone. Pickett, met by Medlock. Pickett tries to move around. Shot goes wide. Trahan in the corner. Met by DeBocourt. Oh, who just gingerly puts the puck up. Daniker, shot. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. I'm telling oh, you, this is a game. sloppy hockey will cost you every time. And Daniker able to get that puck to the point, and somehow that deflects. And it looks like the refs are saying it was 17 all the way. I wonder if we could see that replay again, maybe. I saw the replay. I, I, it was hard to, to tell, but Daniker basically just ripped that puck in. I don't know if it went through bodies or what have you. Oh, I don't yeah, know if it was a it deflection. Is. 13 was, nope. You had Chrism, one of the Chrisms, and I couldn't tell who the big guy was going through the other side, but nonetheless, Daniker. Tom Ox looking to puck in the zone. Khan 
Looks like we got an looks like we had a high stick. I guess the Bedford Concord game is very similar right now. I think that's what Gary's telling us. It's wow. Okay. Just like that, folks, at 8.40, we got an all, we got a tied up game. Saints win the draw. Chrism. Oh, nice. Backhand hits the Bocourt. Bocourt spins it around. Belmore. Oh, Belmore, nice job taking the body. That puck gets stuck underneath Dornan. Tomahawks dump the puck off the boards and Daniker credited with that unassisted goal for the Saints, tying the game at three. Chrism and Dunn on the faceoff. Chrism wins a draw. Chrism over to Gorman, dumps around. Puck goes back to Dorman. Chrism shot. Oh, that puck just deflected wide by Dornan. Puck goes out of the zone. Tom Ox able to control. Puck up to Miner. Miner and Gorman meet. The puck goes off of Gorman's stick up into the Saints bench. Draw will be just outside of the Saints zone. Estes on that draw. Not able to get the zone out, get the puck out of the zone. Done. Oh! Medlock back to the point. Shot. Oh, blockered away by Lavoy. Estes turning in his own. Looking for a pass up and does. Up the boards. Puck met by Dunn. Dunn just turns and dumps a puck back through the neutral zone. Intercepted. Intercepted again. Coming over. Oh! And Medlock and Estes are exchanging some words. Those two got engaged in a dialogue and the Tomahawks tried to, Miner tried to get the puck in the zone and Medlock was off sides. Done an Estes face off. Done with the draw. Back to Caffrey. Puck stops down and shot. Oh, Dunn just able to corral that errant shot. Not able to do anything with it. Oh, and, and, and we have. Wow. So Estes runs into Dunn as Dunn is trying to field the puck and drop the puck, and he gets called for a hand pass. Puck will come, face off, comes all the way down to the Tomahawk zone. And then the Tomahawks are called for icing at 6.56. I don't know, man. If this game continues along this way, we could be in for a little bit of uh, some extra hockey. Oh, yes. Yeah, I think so, oh, right? Oh, my. Yeah, you never could know. Happen. Yep. One never knows. These two lines have been out for a while, though, I'll tell you that. Thanks for watching today's coverage on Merrimack TV. We'd love to give you a shout out. Hit us up on Twitter or Facebook. Let us know who you are, where you're watching from. Where you're watching from. How you're watching. Who's your, who, who's your, who's the player you're rooting for? Whether you're a Saints fan or a Tomahawks fan. Yeah, we would, we, we'd love to see a Tomahawks win tonight, but we're so thankful that we have Saints fans watching as well. So this is just some great hockey today. Prism wins the draw. Oh, and that deflection just, oh! oh. O'Connor with a beautiful save, not able to get the puck. Tomox looking to make something out of that, but wow, Lakata coming up big on that save by Dornan. Just somehow able to get the foot on, extended on that one. We got the replay right here, coming through traffic. That thing tried to wrap around. What a save, just barely. Dornan trying to wrap around. Lakata coming up with a big save.
Dunn gets chased from the faceoff circle, and then Miner gets chased from the faceoff circle, and Medlock will go at it with Chrism. Chrism wins the draw. Not able to control the puck. Miner and Bowling go at it. Medlock to Dunn. Able to corral that puck in, but not able to do anything with it. Odd man rush. Oh, nice stick shape. But why did Medlock dump the puck into his own zone? Who knows? But now he just made things more difficult. Daniker able to keep the puck in the zone. And puck comes out. Medlock. Stick checked. Puck goes off. Him and Bolin meet. Chrism going wide. Turn. Burn. Floater. Save. Dornan back to the point. Shot. Oh, nice save. Ricard able to track that snapshot by Bolin from the left point. There's a replay. I know Gina's got this on in the Ruku at, at the house tonight. She's excited. Oh, nice. Apologize if you guys hear me snuffling a little there. Oh, and the Tomahawk's able to get the puck out of the zone. Khan trying to do something there. Runs into a sea of white and gray jerseys. Trahan broken up by Dunn. Oh, and Farrell trying to clear the zone. Not able to do so. Estes giving him some pressure. And that's Puck hanging out. Oh, and nice move by Estes. Meets by, met by Caffrey. And then Trahan back to Estes. McCahe, Estes, back to the point, slapper, goes wide by Gorman. Tomahawk's looking to clear the zone, they do, Belmore, four, two on four. Belmore dumps the puck on to Lavoy. Gets a stick down and smothers the puck with his trapper. Shots 25, Tomahawks 22, Saints. 4.53 left in the third. Kristen Teruso wanted to shout out Tyler Harris on the Merrimack Tomahawks. Nice. Go Tomahawks. Great coverage, Merrimack TV. Thanks so much, Kristen. Christine, sorry, Christine. I got a few shout outs, Andy. I will try to find places for them. Absolutely. I don't want to let these Tomahawks fans down. Dornan with a centering pass. No one to connect. Dornan looking to connect again. With Chrism, not able to do so. Tom Ox just getting, I, getting I'm, I don't understand why these guys aren't paying attention to where they're passing the puck. Beaulieu gets roughed up by Chrism. Chrism intercepts it, tries to go high, a uh, short side on a back end. Somehow that puck ended up top. Tom Ox just not clearing the puck. Well, Medlock finally does so. Chrism. Just skating with mad urgency. Nobody else seems to be a nice move by the kid. Cannot get the backhand. Gets dumped, but I think he fell on his own. And the Tomahawks just getting sloppy. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Andy, I have no idea what's going on. Andy, got I'm, I'm watching this, <laughs> and I'm like, are you kidding me? Both uh, 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 The Tomahawks are just, they're idly chipping the puck off the boards thinking like it's going to do something magical and I don't understand it and I've seen the Saints players do some of that trying to get out of their own zone as well it's like come on you guys got to dig deep this is like championship hockey on the line come on let's go let's see it I think that's what I was getting at earlier when I said you know I thought both teams just kind of slugging it at the end of the second period Medlock turning and burning to one on three Medlock Gets checked up high by Bolin. Tomahawk still control the puck. Able to be chipped out. Caffrey over to Dunn. Dunn dumps the puck in. Tomahawks get a change. 3.15 left. Saints looking to get the puck out of their zone, and they do. Estes able to dump the puck in around. Dunn met by Trahan. Puck goes out to the neutral zone. Pickett dumps the puck back in. And the Tomahawks just are not chasing the puck aggressively. And that dump attempt by Dunn doesn't go anywhere. Shot from the point. 
by Daniker, saved by Lakata and Belmore just, again, they're being lazy. I don't understand. Puck not out of the zone yet, and Dunn finally does. And then what happens? Connects with nobody, and the Tomahawks are called for icing. I want to give a shout out to Allison Morgan. She's cheering for Owen Sadowski and the Tomahawks down in Boston. Nice. Thanks for watching, Allison Morgan. Thanks for following us on Facebook. Subscribe to Merrimack TV on YouTube so you'll know when this game is posted should be up uh, as early as tonight. I think the boys are going to be able to do that. Con and Chris on that draw. Con able to win the draw. Tomahawks not able to clear the zone, and they finally do. Belmore, nice stick work there. No help, though. Chrism trying to get the puck out of the zone. Not able to clear the zone. Tomahawks able to keep the puck in the zone. Beaulieu. Belmore tangles up with Daniker. Khan presses in, but that puck by and Dornan just squibs over him. Tom Ox able to turn and burn, and Dornan thinks that he can corral a puck that's two strides outside of the blue, the, over the blue line, back into the Tom Ox zone and not get called for offsides. Surprised that wasn't an intentional where dumped back down into the Saint zone. Buck 47 left. Shots almost even. Tomahawks fans getting it done. Saints dump the puck into the zone. Dunn spins, looking for a pass out. Hits off a Dunn stick. He gives chase. Daniker getting a little sloppy. Minor. Dunn shot. Oh! Just wide by Medlock. Dunn keeps the puck in the zone. Minor goes around a defender. Gets squeezed by Estes and Pickett. Somehow able to still keep the puck, but no. Oh! Edgerly's puck clearing attempt, excuse me, hits the line, hits the linesman. And the Saints not able to clear the puck with a minute left. Did they shoot? Oh! And Medlock tried a centering attempt to minor. Somehow that hit Lavoy. And Lavoie able to smother the puck with 57.4 seconds left in the third period. Tom Ox get, getting a few more shots away in this third period. See what can happen. Anything can happen in hockey, folks. And that clearing attempt by the Saints almost went in front of Lavoie. Saints not able, oh, and they're finally able to clear the zone. Medlock. To Dunn, Dunn again, another lazy chip, but he's able to capitalize on that. 30 seconds left. Minor, and they're called, Tom Ox are called for offside. Want to give a shout out to Leslie, Morgan, Berg, Merrimack, all the way. Go Owen Sadowski and the team from Palm Bay, Florida. Tomahawks fans in Florida, way warmer. Wow. There right now, that's for sure. Oh, absolutely. Dunn on the draw, wins a draw. Miner dumps it in. Saints looking to clear, and they do. 18 seconds. Caffrey over his blue line, dumps it in. Oh, just missed the connection. 10 seconds left. My, oh, Medlock into the corner. Shot off the stick. Oh, I've escaped. Miner not able to get something more solid on it. And the third period's over, folks, and we'll be going to overtime at the Everett. Oh, boy. Buckle up. That's for sure. Holy smokes. Wow. Well, we've got an update from Gail Crosby. She says, news for you guys. Will's aunt, uncle, and cousins just texted me they're watching the game in Utah. And that was all caps. Wow. So she's, Gail is shouting that at us. She's wow. excited. Wow. She's excited. So we have Tomahawks fans watching in Florida, Absolutely. Utah, Nashua, Boston. Where else? Let us know. Hit us up on Twitter or respond to our most recent Facebook post. We'd love to hear from you. 
This is exciting for us because we do this a lot for bas. You know, we have live games, basketball games, basketball games, football, football games. games. Right? This is our first hockey game live. We weren't sure we were gonna be able to pull it off. Not only did we pull it off, but we've got the Slez Hammer doing instant replays. We got Gary Kaczynski up here just hanging out. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna pass my headset to Gary so I can uh, run use downstairs. Use the facilities. Use the facilities. Go grab a coffee for your no, lovely I'm not wife, Jen. No, How about no, that? No more <laughs> caffeine. No more caffeine for her. That's just not a good That's thing. It. Not a good thing, but hey. I'll be back. All right, sounds good. We're going to get Gary on headset. We're going to chat with Gary. And uh, we'd love to hear from Tomahawks fans. So wherever you're watching from, just send us, um, actually respond to our most recent Facebook post or hit us up on Twitter, respond to our most recent tweet. This is an exciting game. We have Gary Kaczynski here. Now, Gary does the some of the on-field announcing during uh, football games at the high school. Gary, what's it like watching a... Merrimack Tomahawks ice hockey playoff game here at the Everett. Uh, can't beat the experience. Uh, you know, I had a, I had my uh, stepson was with Merrimack for, for a couple of years before he moved on to uh, another school. So this is a lot of players here that we've been watching since five, six years old coming up through the, through the ranks. It's really great to see where they are today and uh, hear a little bit about where they may be going in the future. It's pretty I mean, fun. It's, it's really fun seeing you know the kids who play multiple sports like the Sadowski boys you know you got Owen and uh, his brother Dylan who's now at UNH That's they right. played ho they played football played hockey as well you know uh, Owen's on the ice today Dylan's in the stands with his dad and his mom watching watching the game uh, you know we have lots of Tomahawks fans as well if you're watching this game from home and, and you know that there are Tomahawk fans here you know, it'd be great to let them know that they might be on TV. We do this a lot at the basketball games, but maybe we're too far away. Oh, I we, think, oh there we, we yeah, got there some, we go. we we got got some attention over there yeah, now. We there we go. Attention. Got the, there we go. Let's go. Got <laughs> so we got some Tomahawks fans in the stands there for sure. There's plenty I got, of... I uh, got my daughters over there with her friend over on the far right there. She's like, oh, don't point the camera at me. Where but, is uh, she? We'll try to get them. They're out. in the gray. Let's see. Gray pants on. Okay. Like right above the and between TV and voice. Yep. She's back there I enjoying see him. the Let's game. See. Maybe we could get. Maybe we could we get gotta, her on camera. Gotta get her a wave. Gotta get her yeah. a wave. Come on. <laughs> well, we got. Oh, we've we got, got some a, other fans like there. Like two-year-olds waving yep. to us. All right. That's cool. <laughs> Very cool. So we're having fun here today, and we've definitely heard from. Quite a few Tomahawks fans on our on the Merrimack TV Facebook page, and if you want to shout out, just visit that Facebook page. We'd love to we'd love to shout you out. We want to know who you are, where you're watching from, who you're cheering for. We obviously welcome um, uh, 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 Saints fans as well. Um, yeah, it's a great thing. I, I enjoy doing this. Uh, you know, I've been doing some of the helping Andy out during the football games and yeah. I, I've been doing the soccer announcing for the for the, the girls soccer and senior nights and you're, also lacrosse. You're one of the many voices of the Tomahawks. Yes. I tell you I show up and um, you know people are like why why are you here you don't have anybody playing and I'm like maybe that's an offshoot of COVID you know COVID was like oh I can go to a game Gave do some announcement. Do. I mean, it was great, great well, to get out. That's, that's how we that's how we found Ralph and Dave, who do the, the uh, football uh, announcing for Merrimack TV. I mean, they're friends of ours, mm -hmm. but at the same time, th they did one game, and then they said, let's do it next week, too. So we were able to keep them on for the past couple seasons, and uh, both of them said it. They said, this has given us something to do on a Friday night. And now they're Tomahawks fans. I know that Dave's watching the game today, and I know that Stephanie Ozog is watching as well, and her son is on the football team. I want to say it's Josh. I probably got that wrong. Yeah. Stephanie's probably going to send a message right <laughs> now and say, how did you get my son's name wrong? But I know that the Ozog family are watching. Uh, she says, go Tomahawks, watching from home, very entertained. So thanks for watching, Ozog family. And Gail Crosby has been <laughs> messaging, messaging us the whole game. Uh, Gail's watching from Nashua. She's the one who shouted that the, there's other families now watching in Utah. She said Will's great-grandfather in Merrimack is now watching. Um, he was at the Veterans game. He's 96 years old. Oh, my god! He wants a shout-out. Wow. Well, Will's great-grandfather in Merrimack 
congrats on reaching 96. You're going to get to 196, I think. <laughs> That's <laughs> fantastic. The Comfortable Football Game will give you a uh, special place up in the booth on one of those cold nights. Uh, yeah, keep, <laughs> keep them warm. We have another Diane Green Dion. She's watching from Disney World. Oh, man. Imagine that. You're at Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> And you're watching the Tomahawks ice hockey game. Well, I wish I was in Florida. It's, it's chilly in the arena. It's chilly outside. But Diane says uh, she had to take time out from Disney to watch the Tomahawks, especially her grandson, Sam Giles. Awesome. Well, thank you, Diane, for taking the time out for watching uh, live coverage here at Merrimack TV. Gary, I got to tell you. We have like something like 876 subscribers on our YouTube channel. I was hoping to hit 1,000 by the end of this past calendar year. It's March, so we're not too far off. But if you're watching the game today and you love what you see, go to youtube.com slash Merrimack TV or just look up Merrimack TV in the YouTube app. And please uh, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and then that way you know when we get co new contents added that it's there. And I'm pretty sure the boys back at town, the Town Hall TV studio are going to get this game up pretty quickly tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, they're there till 9, so if this game wraps in the next half hour, hour even, then that game should be up. So make sure you go to uh, Merrimack TV on YouTube and subscribe to the channel. That'd be great. And like I did, if anybody wants to know a little bit more about what goes on behind the scenes, stop by Town Hall. Go stop in and see what happens at Merrimack TV. Absolutely. Uh, I was there, what was it, back in October? In October, you know, yeah. Um, you know, the little room that they do some of the live broadcasts for them, so the one-on-one -on -one is a little room. It seems like it's a big room. That's it seems always, bigger on TV, <laughs> doesn't it? It's like 12 by 12, and it's, it's really surprising, but they, they do, you know. Yep, any Merrimack. It's an amazing job what Nick does and, and, and Jason over there. Justin. Justin, The, sorry, sles the sorry. Sles Hammer. He has a new name. <laughs> we call him the Sles Hammer. The Sles Hammer is back, the back here. His, his nickname used to be the Golden Sun because he's, mm. you know, he is, he is the uh, Merrimack's favorite. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we have, all, we have all kinds of fun at Merrimack TV, and Gary's right. Anytime you want to stop by, town, generally town hall hours, um, we're actually there late to covering meetings Monday through Thursday. Uh, swing by, meet myself. You can meet me or Justin. Uh, Colin may be there as well. Colin produces some excellent segments on our YouTube channel called Merrimack Moments. And uh, you're actually going to see a behind-the-scenes video of our hockey coverage uh, mm. probably uh, but perhaps this week, if not next. We'll see, we'll see how, what turn, tonight turns out to be. And we'll be showing that. We've also done a segment on the Stowell uh, road bridge which is one of the very few covered bridges in New Hampshire uh, we show some history on that we found some archival footage from 1990 when it was built uh, which was it was what, what what makes it unique is that it was built by DBW employees oh wow um, and then we have another segment uh, Merrimack moment segment that will be airing the next couple weeks about the knitting club at the library. Have you ever thought of knitting, <laughs> no, Gary? <laughs> no, that's okay. I'm going to pass on that. Well, yeah. if you wanted to or if you knew someone that wanted to, you mm. could point them to the knitting club at the Merrimack Public Library. They do so much uh, fascinating work over at the library. Uh, they were just on Chronicle last I night. I heard they, uh, yeah, they, there's a lot more than just books and tapes and stuff going on over there now, right? A lot more, mm. yeah. And actually, and if you have a Merrimack library card, which I do, uh, you can actually loan books out from the Merrimack Library onto your Kindle or your other e-reader, mm. uh, which is pretty awesome. It's a pretty awesome feature. More people need to know about that. Um, I think the Valuzzi families are watching tonight as well, so I want to give a shout-out to Kelly. <laughs> Kelly Valuzzi is watching. She says, go Tomahawks. I know Robin Smith is watching. I'm seeing a lot of very familiar names pop up on our Facebook feed today. A lot of Tomahawks fans. And I love that we have Tomahawks fans from all over the country watching. That's what makes community media great in New Hampshire. Uh, we, Merrimack TV is a member station of the uh, uh, New Hampshire Coalition for Community Media. Connects most of our access centers together. We share each other's feeds, so you know sometimes if we're pl Merrimack's playing a Nashua game, we can grab that Nashua ETV feed from Pete Johnson and the fellows over there, and uh, and we're streaming now, so you can download Cablecast, Screenweave on your Roku, Apple TV, or Amazon Fire device, and you can watch Merrimack TV 24/7 on the big screen in the living room, your bedroom, wherever you might have that device. 
Speaking of Pete Johnson, he just messaged me. Uh, I think what you were getting at was Bedford and Concord are headed to overtime as well. They're 2-2 two to two at the JFK in Manchester. So you have two semis happening at the same time, one at the JFK, yeah. one here in Concord. So Bedford and Concord are headed to overtime. They're 2-2, two to two. yes. Yeah. That's Division One. yeah. And in boys basketball, semifinal, Nashua North loses to Pinkerton 75-55. to 55. Which, well, I'm going to turn this back over to Andy because he can do it the best. Gary, so here you go, Andy. Gary, thanks so much for stopping by and giving Andy a break. Not sure if you can hear that at home, but the stands are lit up right now. They want to see a Tomahawks win. So do we. This is, uh, we do as being, uh, you know, almost old, like homers course but i'll tell you it, this is where it's uh anything happens man so you dump dump pucks at the net well, make the most of every opportunity we have our first international tomahawks fan watching this live game from wales wales yes holy wales. smokes go 26 who's 20 26 Elliot. is Elliot, Elliot Madlock. Madlock so he's got family in Wales watching all right that's definitely our first international Tom Ox fan chiming in Dunn wins the draw Caffrey dumps the puck in and Tom Ox call for icing as we start sudden death overtime and I do emphasize that because it is final winner moves on loser Jessica, this is where the pros would be golfing. So. Jessica Wraith Brown says, let's go, Tomahawks. You got this. And she threw down what looks to be two hand clap emojis. She's fired wow. up. Gorman tries to dump the puck out of his zone. Not able to do so. Tomahawks dump the puck in. Medlock into the corner. Met Bullen. Chrism. Tom, uh, Saints able to get the puck out. Tomox dump it back in. Medlock, Chase, goes in against Bullen. And Saints able to get the puck out of the zone. Caffrey to Dunn through the neutral zone. Caffrey again. Puck is kicked. Kicked through. Oh, Medlock trying to do something. Center pass off the goal. Miner and Chrism. Back to the point, Caffrey, a big shot. Oh, that just hit off the glove of Lavoie. Dunn able to keep the puck in the zone. Miner giving Bullen some grief. He gets a pass over to Gorman. Up to Chrism, who's getting attacked by Dunn. Chrism over to Dorman, Dornan, excuse me. Caffrey behind the goal. Nobody sees the pass. Finally, Miner does. Centers intercepted by Edgerly. And Trahan wheeling and dealing. Trahan going through. Team's not establishing much of a presence. They're trying to get some stuff going. Tomox do it. Get the puck out in the neutral zone. And the Saints quickly enter back. Trahan shot. Rister high glove side over the goal. And that pass attempt, again, very weakly by the Tomahawks. Not able to do anything. And Medlock gets his stick hacked out of his hand. Don't know if it's broken or what have you. But he comes off and see if hopefully rested blue sweaters gets out there. Trahan working his way through the neutral zone. Over the blue line. Shot. Saved by... Look. Nice. Lakata on that shot by Edgerly. Nice. John Hills is watching in sunny Los Angeles, California. He says, go Tomahawks. Let's get this done, boys. Check out the replay there. Con and Chrism. Okay. Bolio tries to dump the puck around the goal, ends up hitting the goal. Behind his net. Up to Belmore. Belmore puts the puck right back around to Farrell. Farrell tries to dump it. Khan able to finally get the puck out of the Tomahawk zone. But Saints look to press back in. To Bullcourt to neutral zone. 
Daniker tried to get the puck in and into the Tomahawk zone. It was a snap down by Belmore. Con into the corner. Belmore looking to center. Met by Pickett. And then Chrism up the right side getting just manhandled by Farrell, who does a great job. Oh, and then Farrell gets his pocket picked. And then Bolyu takes a body. And then Con comes away with it. Centering pass. To Farrell. Farrell. And Con almost intercept Belmore. Able to dump the puck in the corner. Chasing Pickett. Centers. Oh! <laughs> Unbelievable. Farrell, Pickett, I mean Farrell and Belmore, the Chrism going one on one against the Bocourt. Oh, and a nice blocker save by Licata. Boy, Belmore and Farrell kind of collided again. Yeah, let's just take a not, look at that. Just not connecting and then. The Saints getting a great opportunity, and Licata coming up big on the short side. Tomox look, looking to clear the puck. Caffrey not able to do so. Puck comes off to the boards. Dunn comes away with it, looking to clear. Gets it up to Medlock, going one on two. His shot blocked by Gorman. Saints looking to get on the attack. Nice pass, centering pass off the tape. Oh, puck comes back to the point. Shot goes wide by Bolin. And Gorman all the way out to the red line. Tom Ox looking, puck going back and forth. Miner going at it alone. Gets rubbed out by, by Bolin. Puck goes back to the point to the bull court. Shot, oh, that deflects around. And somehow the puck. Oh, boy, howdy. To Bocourt, that puck went off some bodies. And I think that was done. Oh, man. Wanted that back door open opportunity. Not able to capitalize as that puck ping-ponged around. Done on the faceoff, won the draw, and Medlock just chopped at it, and that thing kind of just floated up, and Lavoy able to make the save. We've got an update. Bedford Hockey beats Concord 3-2 in overtime. Are you kidding me? That's what Holy our, yep, cow. That's what our friend Pete but, Johnson told us. Oh, that's incredible. That's a huge upset. All right, we got a two-on-two, two-on-three. Dornan into the corner with the bow court. Well, I don't know why Bull you didn't just chase that puck around. Puck goes back to the point. Pickett able to keep the puck in. Miner gets dumped. Done. Shot off the stick. Or skate, excuse me, by Pickett. Tomok still control the puck. Back to the point to Bocourt. Oh, come on! Not evil to keep the puck in the zone. Tomok's change. Daniker. Off the boards, up to Chrism. Tom Hawk still with the puck. Oh, come on. Oh, and Miner with a lazy pass. Miner with a lazy pass on a possible two on two and caught the puck up to a Saint defender who just dumps the puck and ices it. Oh my goodness. Andy, I think you've kept our friends from the Portsmouth Herald Press here very entertained this afternoon. <laughs> well, they're saying the same thing. Uh, uh, he called it a lazy pass too. Oh, nice play by Estes trying to get in the zone. And the Tomahawks looking to press. Possible three on two, two on two. Nice move. Oh, and he got rubbed out and we got a penalty. Oh, oh my! Wow, what happened there? Farrell had a beautiful move on Let's Gorman. Take a look in the replay. Farrell just broke through, and Gorman just mauled him. Wow! And Gore, and unfortunately, Farrell didn't have enough separation. 
and Gorman's called for the hold. Had had there been enough separation and Gorman pulled on Farrell from behind, that would have been a penalty shot, but there wasn't enough separation. Tomahawks with an incredible opportunity with 8.49 left in this first overtime period. With the power play, draw back to Dunn. Dunn shot. Ah, oh, right in the bread basket of um. Lavoy. And then Miner gets tripped up by Trahan going through the traffic. The Merrimack TV Facebook page is getting lit up right now. Kendra Kylie Veluzzi says, go Tomahawks. Great oh. coverage. Saints able to get the puck out of their zone. Tomahawks dump in. And then the Saints dump it back out. Bowen able to just rip that all the way down. Medlock starts from his end. Skates over four lines, goes in, shot, rips it. And that puck just goes high, ends up in the netting. Susan E. Morgan says, Tim, Jess, Susu, and Gracie are watching in North Carolina cheering on Dylan. I think she means Owen Sadowski. Owen Sadowski. Yeah. Yeah, Dil Dylan's already, yeah. I did run into Dylan. We were talking in between. Uh, Periods. Someone corrected her and said, I think she means Owen. Aunt Susie. One timer. Shut oh! oh! no! Nice! Oh! No! Oh, my goodness! And the Tomahawks win! Yes! The Tomahawks <laughs> win on a deflection! Oh, yes! I gotta see that replay again, boys. Yes! Medlock with the shot from Let's the point. Let's see that replay. The flex and the Tomahawks win in OT. I'm losing my mind. Look at that. Done. Medlock. Deflection scores. Oh my wow. goodness. And the Tomahawks wow. upset the number one seed, St. Thomas Aquinas. It was Kyle, Kyle Dunn won the draw. Kyle Dunn won the draw. They went back and went across to I'm not sure. I gotta find out who wow. the. Talking to the guys from the Portsmouth News, trying to figure out who scored that goal. That went off the deflection from the shot wow. by Medlock at the point. And this place is just absolutely insane. Unbelievable. They did it. Thanks to everyone who's watching at home. Hollis in sunny California. Congratulations to the Saints on a great season. Jessica Wright Brown says, Yahoo! This Owen Miner. Owen Miner, number 11. Owen, on, Owen Miner on the deflection from Medlock. So it was the bull card to Medlock on the assist. So I believe it was Miner on the deflection. We had Kyle Dunn on the face-off draw that went back to Ryan de Beaucourt. De Beaucourt passed it over to, so Dunn to de Beaucourt. Wow. Wow, what a game. Yeah. I'm what gonna... a game. This was fantastic, a fantastic game. Andy, thank you so much for, for doing play by play. Oh, thanks for having me, Nick. Gary, thanks for, you know, coming up and hanging out with us, dude. It's always good to see you. Absolutely. Uh, thanks for watching Merrimack TV's coverage of, of today's Coach. NHIA semi-playoff game, the Tomahawks. Dan, Dan, have Dan, one, they beat the St. Thomas Saints. This place just lit up. You're gonna be able to catch the replay at youtube.com slash Merrimack TV. This was our first live wow. broadcast of a hockey game. We've done plenty of football, basketball. We've, uh, 
Wow. Volleyball, but this wow. is the first time we were able to broadcast live. And what a game to broadcast live. These these guys gave it. Owen. They're all. Owen. And they came through. Wow. Wow. Andy's trying to get the attention of uh, some of the Tomahawks here. Yes. I said awesome coach. Awesome stuff. Andy, we'll Oh my goodness. Andy, let's get you on camera. What do you what no, do you no, got no, no, to no. say? What, what do you got to say? What I was just, I wanted to make sure who who scored the winning goal. Miner Miner scored the winning goal, right? Owen scored the winning goal, right? No, Kyle it was Kyle that went. So Kyle won the face off and went in front and he tipped it. So okay, thanks. All right, cool. So it was Kyle so it was Kyle done? Number 13. So Kyle won the face off, and then the puck went back to Ryan to Beaucourt, okay. and he passed it over to, to Elliot. So what Kyle did is Here's off the, the replay. right off the replay. So there you see Kyle spins in front, and what a beautiful what a beautiful goal. Awesome. So all right, huge thanks mystery to solved. Justin thanks, Slez, thanks, our thanks, assistant guys. media services coordinator at uh, Town Hall, who did uh, the set. Most of the replays, thanks to Colin for uh, our, our part time, our media assistant. Absolutely. For doing that as well. I'm Absolutely. Nicholas LaValle, the Town of Merrimack's media services coordinator. The man you're seeing on the screen right here is Mr. Andy Berkeley. Thanks, and, uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> I, I, this is, this is we great. We're going to try to cover the final. This is great. The final. If we can do the, well, no. What's next? Uh, the finals. It's the finals. The finals. So the then, Tomahawks play the winner of the Dover Oyster River game. Okay. So whoever wins, that, whoever, so the Tomahawks are going to the finals. They're going to the championships right now. So they are. Oh yeah, they're in. Yep. Okay. One more game. One more game. That's it. That's it. So they have an opportunity to to win it all. Win D two. So or, hopefully now there's a restriction on Merrimack. There's a restriction on community TV of anyone covering the finals of the championship live. So. But we could. We could record it. That is correct. But it can't be live. Can't be live. So Probably. you, if you, if you, if there is a live stream from the uh, from another organization, you're not going to hear Andy Berkeley's voice, and that's what makes community TV so important. Right. You get to know your play-by-play -play, announcers throughout the entire <laughs> season, and then your team gets to the championship, and you can't hear them. And you can't hear them. Right. So that's why we need your support. Support community media in your towns and in your cities. Merrimack TV is a department of the town of Merrimack. We are the town of Merrimack's media division. We cover these games all season. All season. Your basketball, football, hockey. Show your support for community TV. Uh, follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And let people know you watch Merrimack TV. And, and, I, just wanna, and I just want to throw this plug in, being the guy, right? We can only cover so much, right? That's we right. can only, we have so many resources, capital, uh, equipment, and, and we Employees, can only give it up so, so much. So. so if more people were willing to volunteer, it could potentially mean more things are covered. You said and it, so, Andy, not And me. so again, I'm just a guy who volunteers. I have no stake in the game or anything like that. Right. I apologize, my nose is starting to run. If you know, it's all good. But anyways, I'm just, Get involved. Get involved. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. That's Become all I have to involved. say. Become involved. Absolutely. Thanks so much for watching Merrimack TV. Thanks to Gary Kaczynski for stopping by, Woo! providing moral support oh, yes. <laughs> throughout this broadcast. Thanks Absolutely. to Justin and Colin. Thanks, back Justin at Town and Hall. Colin. I'm Nicholas LaValle, the Town of Merrimack's Media Services Coordinator. i got to say, go Tomahawks. Hopefully we, uh, we get to bring home a trophy and go to a game. Absolutely. All right, man. Good night, folks.